This is the solution to quiz 9. <coughs> okay, so it says find the inverse of the following function. So we'll start out by writing y is 3x minus 1 over 4 minus 2x. And we'll swap x and y. So x is 3y minus 1 over 4 minus 2y. Multiply both sides. fraction by the denominator of the fraction, 3y minus 1. Now multiply out the left side, 4x minus 2xy is 3y minus 1. Now notice that there's four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two of them have y and two of them do not. So I'll keep the ones that have, I'll move the ones that have y to the left hand side those without to the right hand side. So negative 4x minus 1. I'll multiply through by negative 1 so I get 2xy uh, plus 3y is 4x plus 1. I'll factor out the common y. So 2x plus 3 times y is 4x plus 1, and then I can divide by 2x plus 3 to obtain the following. So, the inverse function is 4x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3. So, just as a reminder, this step right here is sort of the critical step, really. This is the reflection. Across y is x. <laughs> and, and that's the geometry of it, and this is the analytic part of it is that you're swapping x with y. Okay, so at 1 p.m. and notice that they have 25 in the jar. Suppose they make an average of 75 in tips, 75 cents in tips from each customer. So part A. Okay, find a linear linear model for the amount of money in the tip jar as a function of the number of customers in they served after 1 p.m. Okay, so that's saying that T, well that's going to be 25 because that's what we started with and then plus 0 0.75 in. So this is what we started with And that's, this represents the tips per customer multiplied by the number of customers. So tips. Okay, so part B. If the amount in the tip jar at the end of the shift is that much, then how many customers? Okay, so then it's, it's restated given that T is 52.75 solve for N. So that's the request. Okay, so then 52.75 is equal to 25 plus 0.75 N. So then if we subtract, uh, that would be 27.75 is 0 0.75 N. So 27.75 over 0 
of 7, 5 is n. Oh no, 27.75. I typed 25 into the calculator. So n is 37. So they served served 37 customers. Okay, so find the equation of the line perpendicular to the line G that's passing through the point 1, 2. Okay. So then the slope of G, the slope of G is negative 0 0.01. Uh, that's that coefficient. The perpendicular slope will be the negative reciprocal of this slope. It's negative reciprocal of this. So the slope that we're looking for is negative 1 over negative 0.01. The negatives cancel. And that's 1 one hundredth, so the slope is 100. And so that's the perpendicular slope. So the point slope formula is y minus y1 is mx minus x1. Plugging in all the things that we know, that's y minus 2 is 100 x minus 1. So y minus 2 is 100 x minus 100. So y is 100 x uh, minus 98.